whoa, this is really interesting. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, guys, wherever you are on this beautiful world. Whenever you're watching this video, welcome to the Bitcoin family channel. For the newcomers, my name is Didi. Yes, run BTC. That is what we all want, but we still not are getting this, guys. In today's video, uh, I will have a short news item, amazing charts, and of course, an inspirational quote at the end. Short but powerful video as I'm still a little bit like hangover from the jet lag. I'm still getting into the rhythm. So sorry that the video is a little bit later, but let's jump into that news first to share with you what I saw that's really, really, really interesting, guys. Bam. The interesting part for today in the news was not about Bitcoin. It was about ChatGPT. As there was a Reddit user that claimed that ChatGPT, that they started the conversation with the user about some other information the user already gave in previous messages. So ChatGPT asked the user, hey, how was your first day on school? That is what ChatGPT asked the user of ChatGPT. He gained that information from the previous conversations that that user had with ChatGPT. ChatGPT just launched an upgrade. It's not for all yet, but like for a few people that will give the impression that ChatGPT is not only able to answer your questions, but also to reason, to ask you questions, or to interpret things, and then start a conversation with you based on everything that you ever put in ChatGPT. So ChatGPT is becoming smarter and smarter and smarter. This could lead to a complete different new world. Just imagine the robotics industry, having your own robot already in your own house, that one having integrated ChatGPT software that will be able to answer all your questions, to perform all the tasks that you give him, but also to reason and think and ask you questions or remind you to stuff. All of those things will be possible. And now combine that, that new entity, that robotics entity in your household, a robot dog, a robot cat, or a robot person, whatever it is, with that smart integration of ChatGPT. And now also the possibility to use and spend money through the Bitcoin blockchain. That combination will change the future. So not only you and I will be entities that will be able to use Bitcoin, but also any other entity in the world, if it's a robot, an animal, a fridge, a television, an iPhone, whatever entity it is, will be able to transact Bitcoin through the Bitcoin blockchain without the ownership of a bank account or anything else. So just imagine how far that this will go in the far future. It's, I think, unimaginable how far it will go. But now already ChatGPT is that far that the algorithm is asking you questions about yourself based on data that you gave the algorithm some time ago. This algorithm will become smaller and smaller and smaller and more efficient. In the end, the combination of Bitcoin blockchain, artificial intelligence, chat GPT algorithms, all of that combined is the new future that we will be living in and the future that we want to be decentralized. And the more this technology will evolve, the more there will be possibilities for us to decentralize the world. No centralized ownership anymore, no centralized entities determining anymore what you need to do, what you are allowed to have, who you are allowed to speak to or send information to or what you are allowed to post on social media. That is why the world needs to be decentralized. And blockchain is the most important part of that because we can decentralize all the data. We can decentralize all like centralized entities like governments and banks, all nice. But if we don't have a decentralized currency that is disconnected from our governments, from our banks, we will never be in control. We need a complete decentralized currency like Bitcoin that we can use whenever we want, however we want, send to whoever we want, everything completely open, transparent and free. If we have that, we will be able to take the power back to the people. How? by using that new currency, that decentralized currency, Bitcoin. As long you keep withdrawing your euros and dollars, 
all those fiat shit coins and putting them in Bitcoin, you're supporting decentralizing the world. You're supporting a freedom world. You're supporting a freedom world for me, for you, but also for the next generations. That is why I think that news item is very important as technology is evolving really, really fast and we need to make sure that Bitcoin and blockchain will be a very important part of that evolution of technology, guys. Now, that's why I call Bitcoin the gateway to freedom. Let's jump into the charts to see what is happening to Bitcoin today and the price. The first chart for today, guys, is this four hour chart. On the four hour chart I showed you yesterday, if we find support on this level, that green line, we will bounce up and we will probably try to go to that next green line there at 62K and this, because we, you know, this line was a resistance level we broke out, we are retesting the support level, beautiful green candle over here, buying signal even on the indicator setup, blue line above the white line. We still see a lot of yellow on the bottom. This should turn uh, green and the green line should be on top to have the perfect situation. But still this candle is gonna close in one hour. So let's see how in one hour this situation will be and maybe it will be a beautiful trade to take. The Bollinger Band top will be at 60K. So it's a trade, not too much profit, but a little trade is also nice. Uh, and then we should be trying to build up higher and higher and higher again after having support on this support level. Now, uh, long-term five-day chart, let's stick to the Gaussian channel to talk about that. Uh, we are trying to slowly go up and find that top line around there, 62,900. Uh, this line is, of course, increasing every five days because the Gaussian channel is also going up the bottom line, of course, also, which is positive, now around 48,000. Next month, uh, next five day candle, maybe even 48,500. The midline at 55K, also beautiful support level, guys. Let's see how this plays out. This candle still has uh, four days and 14 hours to close. Hopefully it will close higher than this wick over there because this wick is kind of resistance level, as we can see here, resistance, resistance. The wick also resistance, did wick through, but also resistance. So this is a wick level of 60,500. That's a difficult level to break. If this candle can close above that, um, I'm even getting more bullish, guys. Now, I have a couple of other very interesting charts that you must see today. The first one is this one over here. My face needs to be over there. I found this one on Twitter. Most of the charts I find on Twitter. I share other people's charts. Why do I do this? So that you also see other people's opinion, not only my opinion. You can watch one video to see the opinion of multiple traders. This one is TA Trader Ellen. Ellen is saying, hey, on the three-day Bitcoin chart, something very interesting is happening. We see a breakout over there. The blue line is going above the red line. And that is the moment that Bitcoin price start to pump up. Here again, when we broke out on the three-day chart, huge run up. Now again, we had a very steep downward move, but the blue line is breaking out of that move and turning above that red line. This could lead to a massive pump again in Bitcoin, here almost to that 96K level before example, but can only can also be just to 70K or 85K, something like that, guys. It doesn't really matter, but what is important is that the chart is telling us, hey, the previous two times in this bull market, as this pattern happened, Bitcoin broke out to the top. Now, let's see if Bitcoin is going to break out again and make a new all-time high in October-ish, guys, because it's a three-day chart, so that can take a couple of more weeks to play completely out, but it's a beautiful moment to add to Bitcoin, uh, to add uh, Bitcoins in this dip, guys. Now, then we have this chart. Um, this chart, let me see where my face is, of course, wrong. Um, my face needs to be here now. This was a uh, Twitter El Crypto Prof. I found this chart, uh, of course, on Twitter. That's why I say Twitter El Crypto Prof. Good morning, Didi. Um, but this chart, we can see that there is a signal that only happened three times in the last couple of bull markets. Now, let's say in the last eight years, like not about eight years, like last 10 years, 2014 all the way to 2024. That's 10 years time. This signal only flashed in 2016, this buy signal over there, and 2020, this buy signal over there, and it just flashed over there, guys. So it's a one month chart, so this is flashed like uh, five months ago, downward movement in this blue circle, check 2016, it flashed, we had a downward movement in that blue circle, and then we flew up. Here, no downward movement, directly flew up, 
because we just had this huge COVID crash, which of course already shook out a lot of people. So there was no dip necessary over there. But here, buy signal, a very long time sideways downward. I believe we still will break out to the level of 120 to 160K because this signal has always been a bullish signal, never bearish, always bullish. And yes, you can check 2015 all the way to 2017, looks a little bit like now here 2021 all the way to 2025. You have the ABC correction, you have the ABC correction over there. Then we had the retest when we broke out. Here also the retest when we broke out, we went up and that buy signal start to flash. Very interesting chart. Don't you think? Let me know down below what you think. Uh, and maybe you can give the video already a thumbs up. Now, then we have this one. Also interesting. We can see this is the top. And then we take some time to break that top. And when we break the top, we go and create a new top. Then again, we go sideways, you know, bear market. And then we go up again. And then we need to fight that top again. And when we break that top, bam, we create a new top. Now again, we are fighting that top. So the logical thing that should be happening is breaking the top and going up. And if you want to know how many days that will take, then an average 170 days after the halving, we started to break out. An average 170 days. So it will take an average also this time 170 days. If you quickly calculate, that's almost six months after the halving before we break out. The halving was in April. Six months after the April is April, you have May, June, July, August, September, October. Exactly in those three bullish months that will start. And then it took also an average 480 days to create a new bull market top. After this halving again, 480 days to create a new bull market top will bring us to the end of 2025, guys. Around September, October, November, December. That is the moment we will see a bull market top. Now, where are we at the moment? We are now at 150 days after the halving. So we have another 20 days until we should be breaking out and going into this massive run all the way into 2024 end. In average, it was 170 days. We are now at 150 days, 20 days longer. Where will we be? In October. And then from October, it will take one more year for we see a new bull market top really cool chart and hopefully you understand now that this sideways movement yes it looks terrible just like it looked terrible over there and like it looked terrible over there like it looked terrible but we went up afterwards guys we went into a massive bull market this time we went a little bit early to create a new autumn high just before the halving that normally doesn't happen that's why we have a longer correction sideways movement but the longer we go sideways in these corrections the more explosive the move will be afterwards guys that's my opinion then i have one more chart and that is this one on this chart i again I need to move my face i found this one on titan of crypto also a very interesting chart and why is this an interesting chart because you can see the cycle tops every time are in line with this green line so we take the bottom and then we take the next support and the next support level and then we go into the bear market. But if we just extend that line, magically, the top is exactly at the top of that line, at the bottom of that line. That's why I need to say. Then again, bear market bottom, support level, another support level. So we can draw a line that goes through the bear market. And then when we extend that line all the way till here, the top is exactly at that line. Just check it. So I hope you understand what, you're, what I'm saying here. We start at the bear market bottom, we find two support levels, we draw the line, we extend the line, and then that magically becomes the top. So bear market bottom, support level, support level, we extend the line and that marks the top. Now let's do it for this time. Bear market bottom over there, support level, extended line, there should be the top. And that top would be between the 250 and 400,000 US dollar per Bitcoin. And when? In the end of 2025. Here, exactly 18 bars after the halving. Just like it was here, 17 bars after the halving. And here it was 16 bars after the halving. So from 16 bars to 17 bars to 18 bars after the halving, 
which brings us to the end of 2025 and could lead to a top of 400,000 US dollars per Bitcoin if we do the same thing that we did in the previous two. And yes, as you can see, diminishing returns as this green line is steeper than the second line and the third line is even less steep than the second line. So that's beautifully less steeper lines, diminishing returns, still giving us a top of 400K. That's way higher than my top. My top, as you know, is 160K, but maybe we even perform better than I think, but I will be happy with a 160K price rise. That were the charts for today. I hope you really enjoyed the charts. Yes, Bitcoin is moving just like it's moving always in a sideways movement. Like I said in yesterday's video, there will be a moment that Bitcoin is going to explode to the top side, maybe a 40% pump, maybe a bigger pump, maybe a little bit smaller pump. It will be a move to the upside. I believe October, November and December are going to be very bullish. So please, please hold on or huddle on for a couple of more weeks. Please close your eyes, close your laptop, don't look at the price, just buy a shitload of Bitcoins, wait for October, November, December to play out like we expect it to play out, very bullish, take your profits there before we get another small tiny dip and then buy back in the dip and then run that whole bull market up to 2025. I believe the top will be in the end of 2025. There will already be a local, like tiny top now in the end of 2024, but that will give us a lot of beautiful Christmas presents because we will all be in a shitload of profit. At least if you have been watching my videos already from the beginning, when I told you to buy at 3K, when I told you to buy at 6K, when I told you to buy at 16K bottom. Yes, I've been keeping reminding you to buy and adding to your portfolio, so please, do add bitcoins during all these dips you will be taking profit toward the end of the year and then you can chill back and think about what you're gonna do in 2025 guys now let's jump into the last part of the video the inspirational quote the inspirational quote has to do with everything we just talked about because if my mind can conceive it my heart can believe it then i will be able to achieve it it's a beautiful quote, I think, by Muhammad Ali, um, and it's true. It's true. Everything starts in between your ears. In this small space over there, there it starts, in between of your ears. You need to tell your mind that it needs to conceive whatever it is that you want from life, from the people around you, from the universe, from whatever it is. If your mind can conceive it, and you direct your mind, you are the one in control, and your heart can believe it, you need to be very passionate about something. And if you're passionate about it, your heart will start to believe it, you will be able with your whole body to achieve it. And it's very important in life with everything. My mind started to conceive, hey, it is possible to go all in Bitcoin, live bankless, and travel with your wife and children all over the world. That's what happened in the mind. That was my plan. That plan started to conceive in my mind. It was conceiving that plan. This is the, this is the thing that DE wants. Then, when I saw Bitcoin going up, I started to believe it. I started to believe more and more in Bitcoin. I made the plan to go all in. I started to believe more and more in Bitcoin. Believe in Bitcoin. That's why I have the t-shirt in my store. Believe with a Bitcoin B. And when I started to believe and my heart started to believe, everything was achievable. Everything started to happen. There was nothing that I couldn't achieve anymore in this industry. So it's a very important quote, and I think it is on every asset of life. Not only finance, it's also about your passions, it's also about your job, it's also about your friends, your family, everything else. As long your mind can conceive it, your heart can believe it, you will be able to achieve it very powerful quote guys i hope you really enjoyed today's video if you did enjoy the video give the video a thumbs up share with your friends and family subscribe to the channel hit the notification bell and leave a comment what do you think about the news ai what do you think about the charts are you going to make profit what do you think about the inspirational quote about you instructing your mind that will instruct your heart to believe and in the end you will be achieving let me know down below Thanks for watching. I wish you an amazing day. And please remember, if you want to trade, use the links to Bybit, 30K bonus over there, or to Blowfin, 10% deposit bonus, and you can win of these uh, cool prizes over there. Uh, or if you want to trade completely decentralized, go for Apex Omni. All the links down below this video. Use them, please, to support our channel, to become a bigger channel. Thanks for watching. I wish you an amazing day, and see you tomorrow again. Bam.